The user interface is the connection between the machine and the user. That is the way the software is presented to the user on screen. The user interface enables the user to use the program and manipulate data. When you start IB Expert on a new machine for the first time, you are asked which user interface you prefer. This offers the options SDI and MDI. What's the difference? This is the MDI interface. In IB Expert, MDI is the recommended interface as all windows are contained within one main window, similar to Microsoft applications. There is one document per window. For all additional objects or documents, the Windows operating system opens an additional window. The status bar can be seen at the bottom of the screen. Let's take a quick look at SDI. Under the IB Expert Options menu item, Environment Options, the user interface can be defined as either SDI, Single Document Interface, or MDI, Multiple Document Interface. When altering the user interface from SDI to MDI and vice versa, IB Expert needs to be restarted for the change to take effect. So, I'll restart IB Expert, and now you can see that the SDI option has the effect that the windows are spread freely and somewhat haphazardly over the screen, similar to Delphi. The status bar is part of the upper menu and toolbar panel. Using this option, you need to be careful, as it is possible to accidentally move a window totally out of view. So, we'll follow the IB Expert recommendation and go back to MDI, not forgetting to restart IB Expert for the change to take effect. And now I've got all my windows within the main IB Expert window again.